Hi, I'm Brother Kip Ledger, a member of the formation team of the Capuchin Franciscan Novitiate here in Santa Inez, California. Our novitiate serves Capuchin provinces in the United States, English-speaking Canada, and Australia. Right now, you're going to hear from some of those novices representing their provinces as they share how they were called by God to become sons of St. Francis, to be Capuchin Franciscans. I first came across the Capuchin Franciscans from the vocation magazine called Vision. And what struck me about this particular group of Franciscan was their emphasis on prayer, and in particular, contemplative prayer. And as I continued on in my discernment on my journey, I realized just how pivotal that is for me inside my own spiritual life, but also to help others, help them grow to figure out what God's calling them inside their life. I originally found the captions online. I came across one of the vocation videos while looking at different religious orders. Um, and after coming across it, I contacted our vocation director he invited me to a Eucharistic Congress in Atlanta. Um, I went down, met them uh, in person, and they invited me to a Come and See Weekend a couple weeks later. Uh, when I went there, uh, I fell in love with the captions immediately. It was exactly what I was hoping it would be, and I was ready to sign up right away. So I first heard about the Capuchins from friends that suggested them to me, thought that I uh, might you know, fit in well with that community. So I went on a come and see retreat and from the first moment, I just completely fell in love with the brothers and with just the whole order. Every time I would come in contact with them, I would feel such an overwhelming feeling of peace and just really that I was home. And that feeling has continued through my postulancy, through my novitiate. I really feel like I'm at home with the brothers. So what really drew me to the Capuchins was their sense of ministry and their sense of mission. Uh, this I experienced up personally when I was living in the United Arab Emirates, that's where I was born. Uh, when I saw all the parishes which were staffed by Capuchins, how Capuchins could be both parish priests and brothers at the same time, ministering to the poor, ministering to the, anybody who needed it, the sick, the needy. And that really drew me to where I am today, joining the Capuchins. When I first figured out that I wanted to be a Capuchin, I was invited to our post-novitiate house of studies by uh, my spiritual director at the time, and I, I was there for a whole hour and dinner, and I just remember that here, finally, was a place with fraternity that both knew what the good was and wanted it for me, and I just fell in love with that rhythm of prayer and that fraternity, and I just knew I, whatever life I lived, I wanted both to be part of them. Every friar that I've met so far has been a true witness of the gospel living, whether they're in ministry or uh, with the poor or with the young people or with anyone and even at home wherever they are they've always been um, Well, there's always a little bit of Christ in them. I Hope their sharings were inspirational to you for your vocational quest So I guess there is one question left to be answered How is the Lord calling you to serve in his church in our world today? God is good